everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lina, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today, we are doing the Sagittarius Terrascope for April 2021. We are going to be using the Heart of Fairy Oracle by Brian and Wendy Froud. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you for viewing my video. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and click the little bell so that you'll be notified of when I go live or upload new videos. I do try to stay pretty busy here on my channel. On Sundays, we have the Condor Crew with myself, Mambo Tanya, and the Black Bonnet Witch. On Mondays, I upload the weekly forecast. I, every day, I do a daily card reveal. Um, let me see what else. Oh, Wednesdays, we have the virtual book club. Right now, we are reading Enchantment of the Fairy Realm by Ted Andrews. We've been having so much fun with this book. It is so informative. They are fantastic little creatures. And that is one of the reasons why this month I chose this particular deck for our monthly terrascope so okay let me see of course i do the all 12 zodiac signs for the monthly terrascopes and sometimes i don't really have a schedule for this but i do pop on from time to time to do free mini readings so you're really going to want to click that bell so you get the notifications all right cool yeah gotcha all right so without any further ado Let's go ahead and get started. Card number one. What is the challenge for this month? And we have Lady of Joy. This is about joy in the moment. It's about sharing. It really is a true gift. To choose the Lady of Joy is to receive a true gift for yourself. She is such an important being. To know her touch is to know pure joy. She comes to remind you that joy can be found everywhere at any moment. It has no size limits, no sell-by dates, no conditions attached. It just is. So accept this gift. Find joy in the moment and pass it on. Joy multiplies when you pass it on to others. It is infinitely large, so if you give some away, you will always have more than enough for yourself. A good thing to remember in a world that can seem joyless much of the time, fairy is a joyous place. By finding joy in the everyday, you help to make the veil between the worlds thinner and the probability of fairy contact much more likely. So do your duty for the cause of interworld communications and be joyful this month. Just, you know, it, this is going to be a challenge for you this month. Really try to keep a positive mindset and, and be grateful. Practice gratitude and be joyous for that gratitude. Okay, let's keep going. Card number two, positive energies that I can embrace this month. And we have the Queen of Shadows. This is about introspection, acknowledgement, and balance. The Queen of Shadows is a queen of introspection. She asks you to stop and be still and take a long look at who you are. The shadow side of yourself as well as the side that stands revealed in the sun. Who are you? What aspects of yourself hide in the shadows? What would you prefer to keep hidden from the world at large? Take a look. You may find parts of your nature that were placed in shadow years ago and now need to be brought into the light. You may find parts of yourself that are withering away from neglect. And you may find things that need to be acknowledged and left in the shadow. Facing a darkness, even one of your own making, can be frightening and daunting. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. 
It can also be truly exhilarating and an important step on your way to becoming a complete person. That is one who acknowledges the light and dark aspects of your psyche. So take a look at the parts of yourself that have been neglected for a long time. Dust them off and give them a little polish. They can always be returned to the shadows, but bring them out and acknowledge them first. This is something, bring out the positive energies. Use that to help heal the shadows. Okay, let's keep going. Card number three, negative energies I need to negotiate. And we have a bright spark. This is about understanding, illumination, an idea. A little flash of inspiration or a bright spark is sometimes needed because it can be so difficult to figure out what's going on. Life is a total mystery. People who are close to you seem to be speaking a foreign language. You just can't understand how they could possibly do or say the things they do. You need a key. You need that little bit of brightness to illuminate the measure of confusion surrounding you. Let the bright spark light up your life. It's only a flicker, but it is just enough to let you glimpse the direction you should take when trying to understand a seemingly incomprehensible situation, so often it only takes a tiny amount of understanding to turn a situation around. And once you can see the way ahead, you can help others to understand as well. Only one person needs to have a spark of inspiration in any given situation. Let it be you. Okay, and card number four. What do I need to make time for? And we have the green man. This is about irresistible life force, virility, and awe. If the lord of the forest is the supreme overseer of fairy in the forest, then the green man is the forest itself. He is the energy that flows through all vegetation from the mosses that cover the forest floor to the most majestic of trees that make up the forest canopy. He is ancient, appearing before man, even before fairy. Vacuumed, virile, and dangerously alive, he can eventually reclaim any place on terra firma where man has left his mark. In our world, he is an energy to be tamed, conquered, shaped to fit our needs and aesthetics. In theory, in the green world, he is the lifeblood that flows through everything. When the green man appears, the most important thing to do is acknowledge him in your everyday life. If you are in an office building, Take a moment to go outside and find something green and just thank it. Thank the life force that impels it to grow. You can use that life force, that greenness, to revitalize any relationship you are in. Think of the insistent burgeoning energy of a blade of grass or a giant oak tree and let it flow through you to anyone with whom you wish to share the experience. The Vitality of the Green Man. Mm. Okay, let's keep going. Card number five. What opportunity should I seize this month? And we have the Smith. This is a bond. It's um, promises, creation. The Smith is as old as fairy itself. He forges magical swords and armor for mortals and fairies alike. It is said that if your horse loses a shoe, just leave it tethered near the smith's forge with a small silver coin. When you return in the morning, your horse will be shod. As are many of the folk gifted with magical skills, the smith is lame giving up a physical part of himself to attain a great magical skill. 
He is the forger of matter and the binder of oaths. If you make a promise to a beloved, he is the energy that binds the two of you together. A ring, the symbol of the bond between two people, is the energy that bond made manifest. When you exchange a ring, imagine the smith forging that ring for you, putting the energy of fairy into every tap of his hammer as he creates a circle that is the sign of an eternal bond. You can use this image to create a magical connection in any relationship when you make a promise by saying, my word is my bond, especially in fairy, you must intend to keep it. The smith is there to forge the bond for you to take back to the human world. If the smith appears to you, think about what you are promising to do, to be, to achieve in your relationship. And before you commit to this bond, Make sure that it is something that you truly intend to do. Then let the smith forge that bond for you. Hmm. All right, my beautiful little Sagittarius. It looks like we do have some work to do this month, but overall, I would say this is a really good reading. Um, the biggest challenge for you this month is going to be being joyful, seeing the positive, seeing the beauty around you, and focus on that. Let go of the worries and the doubts and the fears. P put your energy towards the positive things. Manifest that positivity. Manifest that joy. Really be in the present moment. Live your best life in the moment. Don't worry about what he said, she said bullshit or what somebody's going to do or what will happen if I do this. Don't worry about that stuff. Live in the moment and be joyful. Okay, and the positive energies is going to be actually working on your shadow self. You know, pull out a little piece here and there and, you know, begin to heal. Really begin to heal and use those things to your advantage. There's a reason why we have a shadow side. And it's not to keep it locked away all the time. Sometimes we need part of our shadow self to come out to help us accomplish what we need to do. Now, negative energies that you need to negotiate. The bright spark. At first, this kind of threw me off a little bit. It was like, why do we need to negotiate a bright spark? But then the theories are talking about, you know, really, instead of when, okay, say like you're in a conversation and somebody says something and you're think and you kind of squint your eyes and you're really thinking, what the fuck are they even talking about? Well, instead of going straight to that mindset and because after you have that little thought, you kind of just block off the whole rest of the conversation. You know you do it. I do it too. So anyway, try to continue to listen and understand what they are saying. Or it could be that, you know, somebody just wants to tell you their side of the story. Listen to all sides so that you can fully understand a situation. So those are some of the things you need to work on is listening and understanding, seeing all sides, seeing what they're really trying to say before we block them off with that whole, what the fuck are they talking about, you know? Anyway, let's keep moving forward. What do I need to make time for? Well, the green man. We have nature all around us. Even if you're in an apartment or an office building, you know, get a potted plant. My favorites are ivy. You can't even kill them. I mean, they can like be all wilted and brown and shit. All you got to do is water it and it comes right back to life. This is the life force that the green man provides. He is giving us virility. He is giving us this life force. He, you know... We talk to them to make them grow, the plants, but and they provide oxygen for us so that we can continue to grow. It's a two-way street here, so really honor those plants. 
and and the greenery um take a walk in nature if you can if you can't if you live in the city go to the park you know just be sure not to step in any dog poop they did just say that because there are there is going to be some dog poop out there some one of you guys listening to this is going to step in dog poop this month i swear okay i didn't say it the fairy said it anyway okay what opportunity do you need to seize this month the smith build relationships when you tell somebody you're going to do something do it if you say i'm going to commit to making one video on youtube per week then your word is your bond do that you know all these fears and all these worries remember we're living in the moment we're not going to worry about any of that stuff if we gave our word we need to do it okay be consistent let people know that you're dependable and that they can depend on you all right guys like i was saying it really looks like a good reading it really does there's a little bit of work but overall it looks like a fantastic reading i hope that this reading has resonated with you and will help lead you and guide you through the month of april if you would like a more in-depth and personal reading please go over to my website at www.conjurenits.com and click on the link at the top of the page that says book a reading and I will be talking to you soon. I hope that this video has helped you. If you feel like it will help someone else, please feel free to share it. All right, guys, have an amazing month and I'll talk to you soon. Love you bunches. Bye-bye.